guys, I am DC creator and host of Barside Jive, and welcome to my daily dose of rock music history. <laughs> Today is Saturday, November 16th, 2019. You are witnessing my Carnival of Love Tour Day 37. I am coming at you live worldwide from 1523 Dragon Street in the heart of Dallas's Design District. And guys, I just met some of the coolest people. I mean, I've had cool people in around here all day long, but uh, just like to shout out to uh, Kimberly, and Eric Jordan. Really cool people, mutual friends, and uh, Jordo, he's a cool dude, and uh, we had a good time chatting. So, uh, hey guys, if you're not busy, got a few minutes left, uh, 1523 Dragon Street, come on down. All these artists here have made some really cool things, and uh, they would look awesome on you. I just know it. Or maybe hanging on your wall. Got some stuff for that too, so. Uh, come down, you just got a few minutes left. Now, what do you say we talk some rock and roll? Flashback. On this day, 1959 is the year after topping the U.S. chart with Come Softly to Me the previous April, the Fleetwoods, not to be confused with Fleetwood Mac, but the Fleetwoods enjoyed their second number, one song, second number one song with Mr. Blue. After Brenda Lee turned it down for being too country, Patsy Cline recorded I Fall to Pieces for Decca Records in Nashville on this day in 1960. The song will enter the US charts the following summer and rise to Number 12. God, Brenda Lee. Woo! That was a mistake. Anyhow, B.J. Thomas, Hooked on a Feeling, is released on this day. 1968 was the year. It will enter the Billboard chart in December and climb to number five. But it was not a hit in the U.K. Oh, hell, what do they know? All right, guys, David Bowie's first British TV special, 1980. Floor show aired on NBC as an episode of Midnight Special on this day, 1973. His guests were Marianne Faithful and the Trogs. You remember what song the Trogs were famous for? Wild Thing, guys, Wild Thing. Okay, on this day, 1974, John Lennon had his only solo number one hit in the U.S. during his lifetime when Whatever Gets You Through the Night hit the top. In his homeland, it could do no better than number 36. What do they know? <laughs> his girlfriend, May Pang, who was his girlfriend, with the uh, consent of his wife, Yoko Ono. Anyway, that's another story, but May Pang would later recall that John got the inspiration for the song when he saw TV evangelist Reverend Ike utter the phrase, let me tell you guys, it doesn't matter. It's whatever gets you through the night. No kidding, that's fact. Okay, the BGs, Billy Preston and Peter Frampton make their acting debuts as their movie, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, opens on this day, 1978. The film proves to be a box office disaster with most major movie critics bashing it. Well, let me tell you, I don't care what the movie critics say. I mean, it may have been shitty, but the movie critics their opinions are shitty too, so whatever. On this day, 1978, a concert by Queen a, at New York's Madison Square Garden featured a row of semi-nude, semi-nude, not semi-nude, but semi-nude, 
overweight women on bicycles to promote the band's current single. Any idea? Okay, I'll tell you. Fat Bottom Girls. J.D. Summer, the bass voice of the Stamps Quartet, died at the age of 73 on this day back in 1998. He is most often remembered for accompanying Elvis Presley on recordings and in live performances can be heard prominently on Presley's 1977 number 18 hit, Way Down, where he hit double O C at the end of the song. Double O C. That's pretty freaking low. <laughs> okay. On this day, 2001, a six-minute recording of a Beatles interview bought for $5 at a flea market. This is for you, Alan. $5 at a flea market sold for $10,400 at an online auction. The winning bidder was simply described as an avid record and music memorabilia collector from the U.S. Wow. That's a good return on investment, I'd say. And guys, got one more for you. In a poll compiled by the official UK charts company, Queen's Greatest Hits was named as the most popular album of all time in Britain on this day, 2006. According to the list, the album has sold around 5.4 million copies, beating the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which has sold 4.8 million copies. All right, all right, I get it. I'll give you one more. I know you want one more. Free bird! All right, on this day, last one, guys, last one. On this day, 2016, U.S. President Barack Obama awarded the 2016 Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's top civilian honor, to 21 recipients, including Diana Ross and Bruce freaking Springsteen. And that, kiddies, is rock and roll. And that wraps my rock history lesson today. <laughs> But dry those eyes, because there is more coming from me to you tomorrow and every day as I peel back those pages, peel back those pages of my rock history book. And bring you more from the legends of rock and roll. If you'd like to check out my Daily Dose archives, it's easy. Just go to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Farside Jive Live and look in the Daily Dose playlist. And hey, while you're there, what about showing me a little love, right? Just click that big ass red subscribe button. It's free and you get to join our little community. So hey, just do it. It's cool. Also, I cover rock news and history during my weekly Tuesday and Thursday shows at the Vocal Media Studios in North Dallas. Both of those 60-minute shows are packed full of music, including nationally touring singer-songwriters. No kidding. As well as some of the very best tribute and cover bands in the country during my live music showcase. I also bring my tipsy gypsy with me, Miss Bree Akers, and she brings drinks and tips from behind the bar. As well as my Art Jive Live segment. It's all about visual art, guys. Visual art in abundance on Art Jive Live. Most of the time I feature artist Brad Jensen as well as other creatives. So guys, join us. Join Brad, join Bree, join me and the whole vocal production team at VocalNow.com. And remember, vocal spelled with a K. I know, someone at Vocal didn't know how to spell, but it's cool. We're gonna live with the K. VocalNow.com. Support people that can't spell vocalnow.com and when you get there guys look for that bar side jive image at the top of your browser at the top of the app if you downloaded the vocal now app it's a free download click that bar side jive image beam you right into the show we'll beam you right in you can sit down right beside us and enjoy what uh, we do and remember that bar side jive image will be located right next to the zoo 
so it'll be easy for you guys to find all you zoo freaks. Hey, besides my live show in the Dallas Design District at 1523 Dragon Street, every Wednesday at 7 p.m., sponsored by Optographics, Hip and Hippie, and Edo Popkin, I've got a show in downtown Louisville, 136 West Main Street, the new location of Sloan and Williams Winery and Outlaw Cider on Friday, 6 p.m. So come see me, Louisville, our surrounding area. And if you can't make it in, you can just watch on Facebook because I'm all over the Facebook thing, all over the Facebook thing. But come down to Sloan and Williams and have a glass of wine or cider and listen to some live music. Had a great time with Mike Allen last night. And uh, it was a fun show, man, fun show. Guys, if you want to support us financially, it's easy to do. PayPal.me forward slash Barside Jive Live. We use it to buy gear and such, so if you want to do it, just do it. I thank you guys for your loves, likes, shares, and your comments. Those are what make all this worthwhile, and they are totally oxygen for my soul. So keep that, keep that up. Oh, be sure to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. My Instagram is at Barside Jive. Although most of you guys probably aren't on Instagram. You're too freaking old. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, really. Really. Uh, my website, barsidejive.com. And my YouTube channel, once again, just in case you forgot, youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. Guys, I've had so much fun this week on my shows uh, with Infinite Journey on Tuesday and then The Pillars uh, on my Wednesday show in the Design District and then my Thursday show with the uh, glitter punk band Scary Cherry and the Bang Bangs. That was awesome. And then Mike Allen on Friday wrapping things up for my show week. So it's been a blast. I'm blessed to get to do what I do, guys. I'm totally blessed. And uh, I do appreciate you, because without you, we wouldn't do this at all. But thanks for hanging out with me during my daily dose today. If you go out tonight, remember to drink responsibly, and don't drink or text and drive. Just leave that phone alone while you drive. Seek every day to be a hero in someone's life. It's simple. Just reach out and do it. And I will see you guys, uh, I guess tomorrow, Sunday, right here, my daily dose of rock music. In the meantime, peace, love, and rock and roll. Good night, Bill. I'm thinking of you too. I'm thinking of you. Is you ready, Ski Cat? And what's up, Doc? Here's Johnny. Have mercy.
if you guys did experience some head, neck, or back tingles during this show and have an overwhelming sense of a deep, relaxing feeling, be advised that my content now does contain ASMR. This isn't just a word from the sponsor. It's simply a very good suggestion. It stands for Real Refreshment. SpartsideJiveLive.com You are feeling the tingles. This is the best time to put the lotion. <laughs>